Hello, Doctor. Look, I'm sorry that I've been behind on my appointments. Uh, I've been dealing with a lot of personal issues. But I'm here now, so how am I looking? There's no easy way to tell you this, Miss Johnson. But your test results came in, and you have breast cancer. Wait, what? I, I don't understand. I, I mean, I've had a few chest pains here and there, but... Well, can it be removed? Had you come in earlier, maybe six months ago, as scheduled, we could have removed it. But you've missed your past three appointments, and now it's too late. Look, there must be something that you can do. You see, I don't think you understand. You see, six months ago, I was supposed to come in for my appointment. But I was so busy with my family, trying to take care of everyone. My husband said that he'd take our daughter to school so that I could come and see you, but something came up with his work that day. So I had to put my husband's needs before my own. When I rescheduled my appointment three months ago, I was so busy at work. And my boss had me working overtime. There was this big project due. And when I was supposed to leave to come and see you, she said that it was urgent and had to be done by the end of the day. So I had to put my job's needs before my own. And then for my appointment last month, I was getting ready to leave, but my daughter asked me to spend time with her. I told her that I couldn't and that I had to go. But she told me that I never had time for her anymore. And I felt really bad. So I had to put my daughter's needs before my own. So you see, my family, my job, and my baby, they all came first. They all need me. So there must be something that you can do. Anything. I, I'm begging you, please. I'm sorry, Miss Johnson. But you really should have put yourself first. Had you done that, we could have saved you. Oh, oh no. But I'm afraid now it's too late. Oh, no. No. Not like this. To all the women out there, it's okay to put your needs first. Don't get so busy taking care of everyone else that you start to neglect yourself. Now I'm not saying men don't sacrifice their own needs too, but historically, women have always been taught that their needs come second. So it's time we change all that. It's great to love your husband, but just make sure you're loving yourself too. It's great to give a lot of time to your job, but just make sure you're making time for yourself too. And it's great to take care of your family, but just make sure you're taking care of yourself too. At the end of the day, you only get one life and one body, so protect it by loving yourself, even if it means putting others second every once in a while. Because if you don't take care of yourself first, one day you may not be around to take care of everyone else too.